All right, we're back to the snoot game. I got another dino sour. This time it's grapefruit. Uh, Phillips Brewing and Malton Co. Victoria, BC. If you go to their actual brewery, they got like some slushy dino sour stuff. It's really good. Uh, I don't think I've tried the grapefruit one. Uh, if you want some, let me know. I can pour you some. But Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm a sour drinker. Well, I drink most things. I don't restrict myself to one type of thing to drink. There's Sours very few are, things I won't drink. Yeah. Sours are like a pretty common kind of cocktail and a like really growing in the beer scene. Like everything is sour. A lot of people that don't like beer will drink sours. Yeah, sours have like blown up on the beer scene in like the last five or six years. I should get a beer sponsor. Yeah, I should hit up Phillips Brewing Company and be like, yo, I'm... I promoting like your, your shit. Stuff. Pay me money. We'll see. I swiftly snatch up the backpack with my by my leg, flashing an earnest, sympathetic smile at them, or at least I thought it was one. As I power walk out of the classroom, I swear I caught a glimpse of, of Reed waving goodbye. As a shame, a shame I have other places to be, namely away from the pissed off midget. Sorry, man, you seem like a good guy, but with that tiny tyrant. Not in this lifetime. That was the worst fucking experience in a long while. Almost as bad as actually dealing with Fang in class. Here I was thinking I could be invisible for the rest of the year. And now I have classmates talking about me behind my back on their phones, probably for the rest of the school year. At least it's the best period of the day now. Wonder what to get for lunch today. Wait, what's that smell? Oh no. I duck into a corner and rip the backpack open. What could have been what could have been my lunch card binders and horrendously embarrassing art book was instead a half dozen glass flasks bag full of something and all sorts of machinery I didn't recognize. Someone, someone else has my backpack and that book. If they see uh, this backpack, it's from the Reed guy, I'll bet. When I rushed out of class, fuck me. On the other hand, I could get a medal of honor for tur turning all this stuff in think you can even get a bit of cash for reporting stuff like this? What am I thinking? Any amount of money is not worth my power level being revealed. <laughs> I can't ruin my life. Not again. Especially not with these losers. A half hour until lunch period ends. Good. I need to find Reed. I double back to the classroom I just left and find it empty. Fuck. Maybe he's getting lunch now. Cafeteria then. Uh oh. I sprint through the school hallways, already familiar with the layout, looking for the drug dealer. The colorful crowd at the lunch line makes it difficult to pick Reed out, so I have to carefully scan the room. I finally spot the pink raptor at the end of the queue, tray in hand, and incriminating evidence on his back. <laughs> the world must be fucking with me, since I'm the one currently carrying a mini cartel in a backpack. Reed! The stoner drummer turns my way as I, com as I, as I try as calmly as possible to approach him. What's up, my guy? <laughs> I uh, I give the backpack a bump, causing all the dubious glassware within to clink. I think you got my backpack, Reed. Oops. My bad. Keep accidentally pressing it. Get out of here. Get me out of here. Where's the fucking... Uh. There we go. Huh? Was wondering why this li felt lighter. Mmm, the grapefruit flavor is pretty good. He holds out my backpack to me. Here you go, man. We trade backpacks. I'm careful to hand his over while simultaneously examining mine still within his grip. It doesn't look like he opened it at all, but... Thank fuck. Why are you so worried about the bag, man? Shit, fuck, 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 fuck. Because... Don't bring up the art book. Thank you, dumb fuck. There's got to be something you can say. Naomi, I owe you a fruit basket. My lunch card. I wouldn't have been able to get my lunch without it. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck, dude. Sorry to hear that. What? New kid in school, and you need the lunch card? Do you, like, want to hang with us? You look like the lonely type. Fuck. No. Nah, I'll be good. And something. Come on, bro. I'll introduce you to the whole band. You don't have to. You know, 
Reward your good deed with a good deed. What? I'll like be your first friend, Anon. What? Yeah, man. I appreciate it, but you know, <laughs> more of a school shooter type. You worried about Trish, bro? Uh. Yeah, she can be a bit rough, but she's great. Isn't she on a crusade to assault everyone that laughed at your concert? Oh, yeah, she does that sometimes. Don't worry about it. Hmm. It's fine for you to be worried. You'll see. She's plenty nice. Maybe I was a bit quick to judge. See? There's Trish now. Hey, Reed. Sorry, gonna have to return that crowbar a little later than I promised. Also, I got vengeance on another one of those jerks. One second here. Uh, no spoilers, what the fuck? Those aren't related, right? Who's asking? I need to get out of here. I didn't do anything. Well, Reed, thank you for talking. I'll just be on my watch. Hold on, man. Trish just got here. Reed, what's this all about? The nun here and I had a little mix-up? Anyway, he was a total bro about it. And he's, like, super poor and stuff. How poor? You know that lunch card they advertise on the school brochures? Ball. Show her a non. I'd rather not. <laughs> oh my goodness, you poor soul. Literally, even. So I figured, why not be a bro back to him? Like, uh, be his legit welcome committee. I appreciate the thought, but, uh, I should really be going right about now. Bye. Oh, fang. What took you so long today? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> no, wait, is that a nod? What's he doing here? <laughs> no, it's the other new human transfer student with the dress sense of Rex Luthor. Hey, Fang, good to see you again. Well, lunch is almost over, so... He's poor. <laughs> like, super poor. How poor? You know those lunch cards they have on the posters near the principal's office? Wow, that is hilariously depressing. <laughs> I hate everyone here. Anyways, that doesn't answer my question of why the skinny loser is here. Man, Anon's like a total bro, and I'm his first friend, and we're going to be rocking ring buddies for the rest of the school year. Rock. <laughs> then, like, he'll be my business partner. And we'll sell goods, enough goods to get half the country high. Like, fuck narcs and fuck the IRS too. <laughs> Arr, Trish? The morons swap backpacks and now they're best friends or something. Yeah, that. And now I'm gonna grab my lunch, so. We can grab some together. Well. Reed is a good judge of character. Is he? Didn't you already grab your lunch, Reed? Yeah, I want seconds, man. What? I look at Reed's tray and see that it's completely empty. When did you, how? Come on, man. I got a mean case of the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> I end up walking to get food with Trish, Reed, and Fang. Every time I consider ditching them, Reed says or does something to keep me with the band. Fuck my life. I'm able to hold the makings of a conversation with Reed, but it feels like I'm talking to space. Trish was listening in, in, in while we made our way to the lunchroom, but was more focused on her talk with Fang. What do you mean my halter top is out right now? I haven't even noticed a difference. I'm telling you, the next thing is going to be leotards. No, fuck that. I would never wear something that retarded. As for Reed... So, you want to play video games, right? 
Yeah, I got a couple consoles and a toaster of a PC. Only X Rocks. Battle Sours is sick. Source. <laughs> Pot. Pat Packy Pocky Station has a Patchy Station has a better lineup overall, but like Stony games are all lame, just like just movies lame. Wow, you can't prove that. I can. Huh? Get your phone out, man. Look up L W. How did you say that out loud? Just look it up, man. What's, What's the, harm? the harm? Sure. Oh my god, it actually... F <laughs> it, it opened up a, a the Chrome <laughs> trailer Goodbye Volcano High Reveal trailer. It opened that up in Chrome. <laughs> That's so funny. Literally just opened up the, cro the trailer in Chrome. That's hilarious. Um, what on earth? Pretty hilarious, right? What is this? A shitty Net Sticks cartoon knockoff? It's funny in a way, yeah. X Rocks is better, anyways. You see the whole lineup they had they had prepared for. Reed delves into his rant about console differences. I thought he was just an airhead, but I totally can't get a read on this guy. Well, anyways, the lunch lines aren't gonna get any shorter. We should hurry and pick one. Once we all got our food, we stay, all stand around chatting a bit more outside the line. Trish and Fang babble to each other about their daily activities all through the lunch line. Reed, on the other hand, has pulled out a tablet from his backpack to show me something. So, like, you know how we got a band, yeah? Er, yeah, Trish brought it up earlier and all. Check it. I've been recording our practices. Fang and Trish look, bo both look at me expectantly. Fuck shit, fuck okay, you can do this. Cool, let me see. Even though the poor recording quality, even through the poor recording quality, I can see and hear just how atrocious the band is. I bite back the grimace threatening to come out as I give the video my full attention. What? Well, we're great writing on. It's uh, certainly original. I know, right? But like, why two bases? Thing glances at me from the side. Weird. It's our style. I, I see. What do I say here? I can only give feedback on games I I, can't, I haven't played, not music. Uh, <laughs> it's a very yeah, nice, I'm... ironic ev reference to Beethoven's Fear Fear <laughs> Elise. The three stop in their tracks and look back at me. I think think I messed up. How could you tell? <laughs> Jeez, man, you got the ears of a bat. Uh, just something I picked up. I didn't know you knew about that sort of thing, Anon! Yo, next time we have a concert, you gotta come along. Maybe. Trish glowers at me warily. I don't know. Maybe if he actually talked about himself for once? Nope. Nuh uh, no way. Abort. Yeah, man, go ahead. None of us are judging. I'm not at least. Well. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Sorry man. We got a bell. bell. <laughs> huh? Where? They're already gone. Pretty impressive how fast they can move with their hands full. But what could have made them run like that? I done. <laughs> oh. I turn around to see Nasser and Naomi approaching food in hand. I knew I'd find you here with the others and nine. Shame you ran off. Why did they do that? Oops. <laughs> Might as well save. Oops. There we go. There we go. Her shrill, goody-goody, sugary voice is piercing through the chatter of the lunchroom. I don't want to reply if it means hearing more of her voice. Well, it's not nice to just do how wonderful that you're making friends and not. And tell me everything. What were you and Fang talking about? I want to know all about it. Oh, help me, God. I can't just ca I just can't catch a break. I just want to go home. But there's still a half day to go. 
Hey, Anon. Oh. Hey, Anon. You uh, seem kind of low energy. Are you all right? Uh, one second. I'm just looking at this tweet. The moment where more people were watching the Snoop Game Dev stream than they were playing Goodbye Volcano. <laughs> oh no. That's sad. <laughs> the Anon you are trying to reach is currently having an existential meltdown. Please leave your message after the scream. Oh, she's just willed to make those friends. Yeah, man. Good on you. You're quite the extrovert. I'm mentally screaming. I swear. I just want to get out and never come back. I didn't do anything. Just get me out of here. Was that really my sibling you were hanging with? Fang and her friends. Yeah, it's a strange group, I know. I'll say! <laughs> Shh. They're not that bad once you get to know them. Colorful folk, I know. Uh, no. I mean, they. <laughs> hmm? Fang. Uh, huh. Sure hope so. Seems I'm going to be her lab partner for the rest of the year. Whoa. Naomi pauses for a second. Honestly, they're just going through a phase, man. <laughs> that phase includes rants about non-binarism. <laughs> <laughs> Fang hit you with that, too. What a great opportunity for real friendship, Anon. I'm so happy for you. Huh? Huh? Is there anything Fang needs in these trying times? Is a new friend to talk to? Uh, I don't know about that. You know how they is, right? <laughs> 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 That's so stupid, but it's so funny. I would love if you tried. Nasser would appreciate it. Would he? Whoa. Calm down, <laughs> boo. That's not how it works. I don't think... The bell's loud sound rings on our ears. A rush of relief and dopamine overcome me. I'm free. Uh, we'll talk later, Anon. I'll have to keep my eye on you, though. Don't worry, Nessie. I know Anon is of good character. What is she talking about? You know what? It don't matter. <laughs> None of this matters. <laughs> the on only useful thing I learned all day. Uh, I guess I'll have to go now. See you around. Be a little nicer, Anon. If you need anything, I'll help you out. Oh, I'll hold you on that one. Just you wait. <laughs> nice. Now I'll, you'll never get them off your back. Congratulations. Hey, take it easy, man. Come, Nasher. We'll have, we have a busy day today. Oh, sure. Oh, sorry, that was you. See ya. I'll talk about the guy arguing pronouns in Starfield later. <laughs> it was very funny. It's a very funny main character of Twitter right now. Shay's got to run in like two hours, so we're trying to rush through this game. Hopefully it's not that long. Let me just look up a playthrough on YouTube, see what the length is, because I'm pretty sure this game is only supposed to be... What were they Full saying? Game. Like two hours, two and a half hours? Full playthrough, snoot game. Let's see... Snoot game playthrough. Chat said five hours. 70 hours. I cannot trust them on anything. So. Eight hours. Let's see. Volcano High Parody. Blah, 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 blah. Some of these playlists are. Okay, so three some minutes. Of them, three the hours. Mods are. Okay, blind playthrough. How long does this go? Half an hour. 500 hours. This is like a few hours. Yeah, so for the main game, it seems. So we'll just not worry about like mods or extra content or whatever. Um, yeah, you guys are unreliable and bad. It's math, bane of retards and lazy intellectuals alike, and teachers too, judging by the lack of certain Coomer teacher. <laughs> Substitute today, which means busy work, group problems, busy work specifically. Of course, I can't escape this any more than I could have escaped the lab partner assignment. At least here I have the opportunity to just, to just keep to myself for an hour. I don't even bother attempting the assignment, instead pretending my phone is a calculator and spending the first half shit posting about video games I haven't played online. The second half interrupted by something pointy to the back of the dome. Shk! I can feel something stuck between my chair and my back. I fish around and pull out a crumpled paper airplane, a completed set of problems. 
This is reads, and it's done. Even the extra problems that I don't even bother with because they take another 10 minutes each. I turn around to see the t that Technicolor burnout waving me over. He's sitting next to Trish. She's giving me the evil eye. At least I think it's the evil eye, whatever expression that is. It clashes with her smile. Might as well see what they want. As I weave through the maze of desks squished together with uh, partners more interested in their phones than the worksheet, I catch a hint of whatever Reed and Trish were talking about. Honestly, honesty is the best policy, eh? Bad juju keeps something bottled up. Reed grabs a hold of another chair and sets it on Trish's other side, nodding in my direction before taking a big pull of whatever he's got in the thermos on his desk. The widening of his pupils suggests it's more than just Rohrbuck's cold brew in it. Hey, Anon. You guys need something? Nah, just wanted to chat for a bit since we got time. All right, hold on. Somebody posted a picture of the dev. Is it supposed to be like a gross guy? The guy in what picture is the dev? What? Hmm? The guy on the pick? What pick? All right, I'm going to ignore this. We got to get through it. It'll be on YMS Plays 2. It'll be uploaded to YMS Plays 2, and if it gets edited, it'll be uploaded to YMS Plays. All right. There's something in the tone of voice. It it's like she's getting ready to gore me with those nubs she calls horns. <laughs> sure. I'm going to let you two get to whatever. Going to go for a refill. He shakes his thermos and head heads to the door. What's in that, anyway? Don't ask. Fair enough. Wait. Fuck it. So, Anon, you and Fang. You and Fang what? They've been talking about you. They? <laughs> the tiny triceratops rolled her eyes dramatically. Fang. Fang's been talking about you. All good things, I'm sure. What's what? See, like, this is so shit. It's difficult for me to get offended by this because of how shitposty he is. And it's like, it, it's like... It's clear that they know how to use they, them pronouns because the other characters are doing it. He's just, he's just written the main character as a guy who doesn't understand, right? Oh, well, so not clear. just the main character, a lot of the characters. Yeah, every other character. Just about every character, yeah, yeah. except for these three. Fang's been talking about me. That's dumb. Oh, yeah, the phone. All we've been doing is more lab work and science. Last Thursday, I tried to remember how to make a railgun. To show I could, of course. I can make one, too. She seemed unimpressed at the time, but... Was it about making a railgun? Er, yeah, it was. What exactly are you talking about with them? Just science stuff. The railgun is something... Uh, it's just something I happen to know, though. Picked it up from an old game. Trish raises an eyebrow. Right. Why do you ask? You learned to make a deadly weapon from a video game? Her tone is flat, unlike her chest. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it. Don't interrupt. Why would you think that's a good idea to make a weapon in class? How did you not get in trouble? Look, I'm not... I'm not when I when I'm being charitable. I'm not saying like, oh yeah, this guy's secretly a leftist or anything. I'm just saying like, it, he's regardless of what his opinions are, it's not like it's not like the worst. Like it's not like a the most bigoted thing. Like I've seen so many fucking movies that are so much worse than this. You know, it's it's also it's written like it's it's narrative. Somebody wrote a story. Yeah, it's not necessarily. These are my opinions and my thoughts. Yeah, and, and it's supposed to be for a 4chan audience anyway. Like, it doesn't... It's very tame for what it is. Anyway. I, I... How did you not get in trouble? Spears actually did talk to me. said something about the Great Equalizer. Trish grabs the bridge of her snout. This is why men are useless. She continues to mutter to herself, all of it incoherent. Is there a point? She rounds back on me, anger painted clearly on her face. Look, Anon, you may be into that stuff, but leave Fang out of it. They have better things to do than... than... than play with some man-child's lethal toys. 
Whoa. Harsh. Reed slumps into the seat next to Trish, sipping on his thermos of... Just agua, bro. Thermos, thermos of, of water. water. <laughs> what the... What'd I miss? I'm just, I'm just trying to tell Anon that he shouldn't be telling Fang how to make fucking gun in school. Why not? We've been over this. We have... When? Less than five minutes ago. Thought we were talking about Anon. Yes! And specifically, we were talking about Anon's gun. Heads start to turn. Reed grins at them all. (laughs) (laughs) Then how about these guns? (laughs) I love Reed. He was my favorite from the trailer of Goodbye Volcano High, too. I'm like, yeah, this... (laughs) You know? (laughs) The least, least unfuckable. Reed places his hands on the back of his head and flexes his biceps. I hope he's over 18 if I say that. Well, whatever. Fictional character in high school. They're drawn like they're 40. True. He is four? Okay. <laughs> I'm canceled. Triss's face is a blur of emotions. <laughs> four is an adult in... In, in dino terms. In dino yeah. years, I think. Above the age of consent in their species. It's like... Two or three? Yeah, something like that. At first confused, then fucking pissed, then aroused, then back to fucking pissed, all in the space of an attosecond. Not those. But, like, how do magnets work? (laughs) (laughs) Ding dong, bing bong. (laughs) At... All at once, all the students giving the clock a blank stare stand to attention and file out the door. I... I... Damn it, Reed! Trish punches Reed in the shoulder, gives me another evil stare, and saunters out the room. Hey. Reed pats me on the shoulder. Bruh. He gives me a thumbs up and exits as well, leaving only the substitute teacher looking at me from her desk impatiently for me to leave. Guess it's her lunch period, too. All I gotta say is that so far this is better than Doki Doki Literature Club, and the fact that this is maybe gonna be done in an hour is also way better than Doki Doki Literature Club. More self-aware and less pretentious, too. Nasser ended up dragging me to sit with him in the Magneta Magenta mortar, motor mouth again. Naomi hovers over Nasser, who is currently ha- who currently has Gucci under his eyes. <laughs> Gucci. So I uh, talked to the soccer team earlier. They're going to make it the first game after all. They're going to make the first game after all? All right, Sonex, your two your two comments in a row kind of answer themselves. You say, wrong opinion, but okay. Then you say, I love anime. So those cancel each other out. <laughs> Isn't that great, Anon? Oh, I also got the l l Club to finally take down their Christmas decorations. So, the library's clean again. Oh, you were joking. Okay. <laughs> that animation was funny. Nasser's head lands in his chicken salad. He Then he jerks wide awake. Nasser! Oh, God. Oh, good Lord, not the water. Uh, uh Sorry. Did you say something, Anon? Nasser, you look like you fell into another blender. What's going on, big guy? Don't worry about it. Just some family problems last night. Like what? Uh... You didn't have to tell him if you don't want to, dear. Why did you wipe that Alfredo sauce off your cute little face? She's so... Saccharine? Saccharine? How do I pronounce that? I've never heard that word saccharine, before. Saccharine? Saccharine? She'd give a third world country di- diabetes. <laughs> it's my sister again. Saccharin? Okay. Why is it always his sister with him? Ah! I was going to sleep last night when I heard something downstairs. When did this turn into an interrogation? It was about one or two in the morning. I checked what it was and... Fang was just standing in front of the microwave, staring at the dino nuggets rotate inside. At one in the morning? 
at one in the morning. This is a personal issue, isn't it? Would you rather be enjoying lunch with us? I just need advice from somebody at this point, Naomi. But from a nun? But from me? Nasser continues. I asked her what she was doing and she just... Oh, sorry. She just says, fuck off. So I think maybe dad will help. All right, reposting Justin Wing, Wang's tweet. <laughs> that was great. All right. He didn't. They're just, they just got into a shouting match, screaming about her lack of control, and Dad was pissed, and... Poor baby! Naomi wraps around around Nasser's head, cradling the tired pterosaur in her bosom. Uh. There's a rumbling snore, and it's clear that Nasser has checked out. Right. Naomi looks distraught. He's always like this, but it's been getting worse recently. Going unconscious? Trying to help, wearing himself ragged. That Fang! We should help Nasser. What, by talking to Fang? By taking him to the nurse's office. Ah, oh, fuck. Naomi looks at me with the biggest, wettest doe eyes possible. <laughs> all right, all right. He doesn't look that heavy anyway. Only 160 pounds. How do you... Never mind. Naomi puts herself under Nasser's left arm, motioning me to take the other one. I sling his arm around my back, and good lord, he's heavy. All right, the nurse's office is down the main hall on the left side near the front desk. I'm clenching my face too much to be able to speak. I can only get a slight nod out. After dropping Nasser at the nurse and leaving... Before Naomi could argue with her about staying, the lunch bell rings. With music at the ass end of the campus, I have to sprint through the halls. Fuck today, I avoided gym class for a reason. Halfway to music class, I slam into somebody and tumble, tumble to the floor. Ugh! Oh, God. All right, go for it. <laughs> you? Ah! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I get up from the floor at the, and look at the stego who bumped into me. The plate's on her back twitch as she looks me up and down. Judgment? A chill rolls over me. Karma? No, no. Maybe a second chance? She draws closer, a contemplative expression on her face. I see now. What? You have important choices to come. I do? Wait, back up. What the fuck are you talking about? This. She reaches towards my chest, plucking something off of it. She holds it up for me to see it's some oversized playing card. Still lost. It's you. Your card. You're on the precipice of a great ordeal. Many difficult points of divergence and contention are coming your way. Reflect on them. I think about asking the green weirdo to make sense, but the bell is about to ring. Yeah, thanks, sure. Sorry, got a dash. <laughs> I slam into the band room door just as the late bell trills, panting and sweaty. Oh, God. Mr. Jingo? Who's this supposed to be? <laughs> like, ring? Who is? Good timing, Mr. Mouse. Just in time for free period. What? Take up anything you like and have fun. It is Ringo, isn't it? The teacher then took his extremely lavish love seat, threw on a pair of headphones, and blacked out. I looked at... At the scattered instruments left alone for whatever reason, dented looking brass and cracked woodwinds, even a bass with a missing string. Wow, I feel like that right about now. I reach for one at random, taking a wooden thing. It looks like an oak tree made love to an eggplant, and this is the aborted monstrosity in Mexico. <laughs> whatever, I melt into my chair and pull out my phone. It seems like a majority of my classmates have a similar idea. I've got I have some shit posting to do. Let's see. <laughs> ah yes perfect <laughs> click post <laughs> post successful <laughs> and now to wait nefarious deed for the day done I look around the room out of boredom oh fuck no Fang has a weapon of mass hearing loss I'm covering my ears in preparation for when the tet tet tarot wrist <laughs> 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 starts strumming and oh wow I still have my hearing 
In fact, she's actually playing something pleasant. It's mellow, relaxed, a slow rhythm that carries a strange nostalgic hint to it. The difference between this and the performance is night and day. What gives? Looking a bit closer, she's swinging her tail a bit to the rhythm. She uses her tail as a metronome? Suddenly, the phone slips from my hand onto the floor. Shit! The sound makes it... Uh, the sound makes the sound it makes as it clatters on the ground is a klaxon of pants shitting terror. It lies face down on the aisle. Do I really want to pick it up and potentially face a harsh reality? Schrodinger's crack. <laughs> I can't just leave it there. I pick up the phone and slowly turn it over. It's the moment of truth. No cracks? Thank the Lord. Yay, you got lucky! Fang has stopped playing and is throwing a small smirk my way. I should probably say something. Her playing is pretty good, I'll compliment that. That sounded way better than in the video Reed took. Eh. Wrong choice of words. You're still not off my shit list, watch it! Quicken on, think. Why didn't you play guitar back then? You're obviously a lot better with it. What if, if I could have? What do you mean? There's an empty seat next to Fang. Finders keepers, I guess. The band is just Reed, Trish, and I! So we all have to decide by majority what happens! Reed says using a bass is more unique, and Trish says it al always says how it's a promising business model. But it sounds like you play the guitar much easier than a bass. I play the bass just fine. I think the problem is more that if you want to make an unconventional band layout, you damn well better know what you're doing. If, you, if you're anything short of a masterful, it won't sound good. And when it comes to music, it either sounds good or it doesn't. Simple as... She continues strumming. But it's just a high school band, right? Shouldn't it just be fun? It is, yeah. Even though you're just doing what they want without getting a say in it? Flank flinches and misses a note. Ugh. It's not like that. It's just... Trish says. Trish says, I mean... God damn it. Look, we're better with two bases. Trish and Reed say so. The aw... Uh, oh, oh, fuck. I almost <laughs> said the audience at the concert to her aloud. What was that? Nothing. Fang growls at that. <laughs> you know what? We're having a band practice after school today. Just show up and see for yourself. And what if I don't? You'd be a little bitch that's wrong. <laughs> oh, in that case. Fuck you, I'm right. Your band sucks with two bases and you should have been on guitar. I lock eyes with her. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! And we're calm now. Fuck me. Hurry up, dweeb! If I can keep ahead of you while carrying two instruments, you can speed walk! You sure you don't want me to carry one? Pfft. Fang is leading me back to the auditorium with both the acoustic guitar borrowed from the music room and her bass in hand, one over each shoulder. When we eventually get to the auditorium, Fang stops. Is something wrong? Uh, is everything... The doors, moron! She swings the guitar, <laughs> guitar cases on her shoulders around a bit. Oh. I step around her and grab the handle, pulling the door wide open. Ladies first. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fang growls and stomps on my foot as she walks past. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Hurry up already! <laughs> Inside, Reed and Trish are, all have, already have everything set up on stage. Where does Reed keep that huge drum set during the day? Trish waves her arms from the stage. Hey, Fang, what took so long? Had to grab something. Trish squints in the spotlight, then finally notices me. What? What's he doing here? Fang slings both cases onto the stage, then climbs on herself. Proving a dumbass bigot wrong! So you admit they're smart ones? <laughs> that was a bad line. <laughs> Fang then ripped something from Trish's hand and threw it at me. <laughs> what the fuck? It it's... strikes against my head with a dull tonk and lands on the ground in front of me. Worm? Vorm? Drama's new hit single, In Dragon Onslaught. What is that? What is that picture? <laughs> what is that guy? Looking down at the makeshift shuriken, it was a copy of Vorm Drama's hit new single, In Dragon Onslaught. Bang, I just made that in art class. It looks like Picasso had a seizure. 
He was being an ass! I was. Like, are we on break now? We haven't even started! Fang, why is it non here? Like I said, proving him wrong! More like proving me right. <laughs> proving him wrong how? Like, playing guitar, right? You wanted to play your guitar. What? Yes! I mean... Ha! Huh. No, I mean, Anand thinks that if I use a guitar instead of a bass, the music would sound better. What? No way! I know, right? Whoa! Way to try throwing everything off, Anon. Mm, let's just go through. I need meth money by Tuesday night, and if I don't get it, I will stomp on your child. <laughs> don't say a <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> Three, two, one! It was the name of their song, is what it was. My mind went blank. I don't know what just happened. I looked at the stage and see Fang pointing, looking distressed. See? This is totally awesome, right? Not the word I would use. I think you should give the guitar a try. Oh, shut up. You don't know anything about music. Uh. Might as well. That's what I brought him for, after all. You're really sliding with him on this? We already decided... Verm drama is better with only drum and bass, remember? Yeah, man. Way more unique that way. Aren't there like two bands in existence that pulled it off? That means there's a chance then, yeah? Can't hurt to try, right? You don't get a say in this. It's a band decision, and we already made our choice. Maybe he's right, Trish. What's the big deal? The deal is we're wasting enough time as it is when we should be practicing. Especially wasting time on playing guitar when it doesn't match any of our stuff. That clearly struck a nerve. Wasting time playing guitar? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Fang rounds on Trish, jabbing an accusing finger into the little triceratops' surprisingly voluminous chest. Volumin voluminous? Voluminous? Vol voluminous? Every time I want to make changes, you guys always overrule me! Even when it's something like playing my favorite instrument in my own band! Yikes. Come on, Fang. You know I didn't mean it that way. We decided that dem democratically, right, Reed? Yeah, but, like, there are only three of us, you know? Hmm. <laughs> I'll hate myself for this. This is already getting too intimate for me. But maybe I should say something. It's only going to get worse if I don't. But this seems like a personal argument between them. I'm going to speak up. Fang does seem very passionate about playing guitar. It could only help their music, right? Just give Fang a chance. Have you ever even let them play guitar with the band? That seemed to stop Trish and her presidential Yeezys. <laughs> I, uh, well... Not really. We voted on it in our first jam session together. Fang made a weird face like she couldn't believe I was standing up for her. Honestly, I couldn't believe I stood up for her either. <laughs> but God damn it, I'm winning this challenge. <laughs> if you're really Fang's friend, you should at least let them try. Okay, so yeah, when, he, when he's not Doing in internal... It out, internally not Internally good, externally not. Externally getting better. It's funny. Externally, he's, he's learning a little. Trisha's mouth opened and closed as if she was trying to find the right words. She threw up her hands and let out a frustrated sigh. Fine, I guess we can try it with the guitar. And we'll find out how that goes. Right after these after messages. After these messages.